All right, Shalom, given all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Yahweh Shalom coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. The name of this one is A Storm is Truly Coming. Who will be ready? All right, who will be ready? All right, and this video is, you know, is um, I'm gonna go into. All right, it by it's by um Natasha Grace, she's a, a, a from Jamaica, all right, most likely a so-called Benjam, a so-called um Jamaican, a so-called Jamaican um uh, Benjamite, all right, and the video that she reposted is called Saint, uh well actually she called it Saints a storm is coming are you ready all right and it's about this lady you see on the screen who had a, who had been with a vision or a dream or lord spoke to her and to tell her that basically you know this place you know it is coming to an end the flood is coming a flood all right well, we know it's not a flood of water all right but we, we know it's fire and it's truth you know those of us who understand this truth all right but the point is she was going into she goes into how Noah you know being um that Noah created the ark not even seeing the water right and that that takes what faith and that's what she didn't really say you know the faith build up faith faith is what you know the prophets have faith is what the men of the Lord the, the fathers are old you know that's how they please the heavenly father Yahabashim Yahushai Yahweh Yahushai that's how they please the Lord by faith all right and that's the main difference in this truth okay you know faith come by hearing and hearing by the word right what word the true word the hundred percent truth all right you know even even Nastasia, she she can't she can't tell them the hundred percent truth they have to hear from the men of the lord the prophets so in the first place a woman not even supposed to be teaching but let's not go into that that's a whole other video all right but the point is i'm gonna play this video i'm gonna go through some precepts to enlighten those who might hear this video i pretty like hear it all right through the spirit and power you are me or shy satan really didn't want me sharing because my tiktok literally crashed in the middle of me filming this and that happens all right satan does fight you but i'm still gonna share it i started crying on my way home listening to worship music and a song that has never really hit me before hit me tonight and i need to share the message that i got from the holy spirit because it is one of the most powerful things i've heard in a while the song is build a boat i don't know who the artist is i will put it in the description i've heard the story of noah more times than i can count but i don't think i've ever really thought about it in depth and tonight when i was listening to the song build a boat which is about noah god put it on my heart and really really spoke to me telling me you know kayla you've heard the story of noah so many times and you never really thought about it and i don't know why you haven't but do you know how many people looked at noah like he was crazy because he was building a boat a big boat and there was no rain there was no storm now the lord was speaking to her right you know does the scripture support that yes the scripture says in um let's, let's go to the old testament foundation joel 2 verse 28 it says um and it shall come to pass afterward that i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and she said the holy spirit showed it her right the holy spirit of Yahweh shy right and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions right so she's she's prophesying here because you know we know that there's serious destruction coming serious death all right a bad time an evil time all right that's what evil evil means all right a bad time all right it's coming okay and we can get that in, in the book of acts as well the same way acts 2 verse 17 says what and it shall come to pass in the last days say at the heavenly father i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams right precept by precept, one precept right and on my servants and on my handmaids i will pour out in those days my spirit and they shall prophesy all right men and women alike okay so this is what's going on here all right let's continue 
big boat and there was no rain there was no storm there was no flooding there was nothing i said okay well yeah of course i know that like he was building it but there was no rain like okay and and when i because noah was a prophet the word prophet breaks down into pro meaning before and for sai meaning to say to say before all right and because of that they called noah a madman and they laughed at him they mocked him and they scoffed him the same way when we read them in proverbs the, the first chapter all right now let's get let's get um hosea 9 verse 7 it says what the days of visitation are come right it's come and we get that in um sirach sirach 9 chapter all right the days of recompense are come israel shall know it the prophet is a fool the spiritual man is mad be mad for your mashiach sake scripture says that you're fools for your mashiach sake all right for the multitude of thy iniquity and great hatred when they hate us you know because we speak the, the truth you know we speak in truth okay let me go to the book of proverbs the first chapter all right it says verse 22 how long will you simple ones will you love simplicity you know when you say the scripture talk about wisdom cried but out she uttered her voice in the streets the prophets are found in the streets noah would have gone and, and spoken them outside right in the streets probably in the opening the gates she cried in the chief place of concourse right not in your churches in the opening of the gates in the city she uttered a word saying how long you simple ones will you love simplicity yeah they, they, they love nonsense foolish doctrine lies from from plantation christianity all right and scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge turn you at my reproof behold i will pour out my spirit unto you i will make more my no, make known my words unto you so you should turn unto the lord's reproof listen to the lord's word the lord would come from his prophets scripture saying amos 3 and 7 surely the lord will do nothing but he reveal his secrets unto the servants the prophets you can't understand this truth all by yourself and you definitely can't learn it from a woman all right you definitely can't learn it from a woman so let's continue here and when i tell you god slapped me with the biggest truth and he directly said directly said you know sometimes you don't see the storm that's coming nobody does but you still prepare anyways and right now you're undergoing spiritual warfare and you don't even know what's ahead of you you don't even know the battle that you have ahead of you but you need to prepare you need to equip yourself you need to put the armor of god on you need me you need me don't think that you got this on your own don't think because you have it under control now you don't even know what's ahead of you yeah because you know that's the whole attitude of israel they believe that nothing's going to happen uh, that whole ezekiel 12 and 21 going down there that, that idea that you know the prophecies fail and all these things and it's only peace no it's not only peace when you see the men of the lord out there on the highways and the byways when we out there you know you know and pushing this wood and telling you what's coming listen all right because it surely is going to come it will fail all right you know everything she's speaking there scriptures is ezekiel 12 verse 21 it says and the word of the lord came unto me son of man what is that proverb that you have in israel land of israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth tell them therefore thus saith the lord power i will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in israel but say unto them the days are at hand and the effect of every vision every vision is going to come to pass that the heavenly father spoke about you know every vision the reason why it is the you know these these jakes you know they, they can't see it they just blind the lord just blind the lord close their eyes right they don't have they don't have that vision to understand and to see second corinthians 4 verse 18 it says what while we look not at the things which are seen but are the things which are not seen so you know they can't see things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal and the spiritual man has the vision to see the spiritual thing to see the future prophecy all right prophecy okay all right because scripture also says that without um back, let me see if i can get that without a vision you know the people perish proverbs 29 and 18 it says where there is no vision the people perish but he that keepeth the law happy is he 
right? You gotta keep it a little happy, you see. So the the the, the men of the Lord have that vision. First and foremost, the men of the Lord seek out the visions. Okay? It says Sarak 39 verse 1. It says, But he that is given his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof, he's supposed to be occupied in this truth, seeking out the prophecies, the understanding, the deep dark sentences, all right, parables, all right, will seek out all the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. All right, occupied. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtle parables are. He will be there also. So there's a reason why. All right, so you'll be doing that first of all. And in addition to that, the Lord gives prophets, the men of the Lord, dreams. All right, dreams and understanding of, of the future. Visions. Okay. Let's, let's get uh, Numbers, the 12th chapter and verse 6. Let's see here. Does the Lord give men visions? Oh, yes, of course. Numbers 12 and 6. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, Yahweh, will make myself known unto him. Right? And Noah was known unto the Lord. The Lord Noah knew the Lord. All right? In a vision. All right? Now, never even said about a prophetess. It's about men of the Lord. But the women going to get visions too. All right? But it's a man's job to push this and preach this word. All right? I will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream right which goes back to Job 2 3 and 15 when the Lord puts in the, in, the, in, the, in the depths of sleep he puts these visions and dreams in their mind right to understand the times right to understand what's going on right because there are signs that are taking place right now right things that you know they can't see you know things that they can't see um uh, let's well, first and foremost, let's go to Matthew. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 37. See, yeah, it says, But as in the days of Noah were so also, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered the ark, so they were doing. Even though Noah was prophesying, you know they they didn't listen. They were doing everything else as normal. It's the same things happening in this time. Not new under the sun. Ecclesiastes one and nine, right? Verse three nine says, "And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be." So they're going to be taken unawares. Those who don't have the vision to see, those who don't listen to the prophets, the men of the Lord, you know, and they're not counted among the elect of Israel. Not predestined to be among that number, they're not gonna see it. They they're not gonna see the signs that the heavenly Father is bringing in this place. Second Ezra nine and one. He answered me then. I said, measured out the time diligently in itself. Only men of the Lord could do that. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. Therefore, when you shall, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, which is happening now, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right? For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And you know who could who who could see these signs? The men of the Lord, the prophets. We give the the vision through the spirit and power. We have Hashem, we try to see these signs. Right, the rest of them, they're not gonna see it. It's gonna catch them unawares. This destruction that she's speaking about, right? Because she's speaking about she went into destruction. All right. Let's get let's just get Matthew 16 and 3 and we'll go back. All right. And this is your Shai talking here. He's, um, Matthew 16 and 1 the Pharisees also the Sadducees came tempt and tempted desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven he answered and said unto them when it is evening he said it will be fair weather for the sky is red and in the morning it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering O ye hypocrites ye can discern the face of the sky but you cannot discern the signs of the times all right and that's that's all these people they're hypocrites because they've heard the word 
Alright, most of them I've heard you with all these all these um celebrities coming out in woodwork, you know, they hearing it. So a lot of other people are also hearing it. And the Lord is also raising these celebrities up. The people like um Kanye, like uh, Kyrie Irving, you know, to push this word even more so it goes to the four corners of the earth. So they're not gonna be any excuse, they're not gonna be any covering for your you know, for your sin. Alright? Repent. Turn unto your Lord, you are Hebrew as you like. Repent and turn unto your Lord. The Lord's name is Yahweh. Yah meaning he, Hawa meaning he exists, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Yah meaning he, Hawa Shai meaning deliverer or savior. He's the deliverer, he's the savior. Alright? So repent. You know, you know, you're not gonna see this, you're gonna catch, you're gonna be caught unawares. And trust me, it's not a nice thing. Let's go back to the video. Now what's ahead of you? When I tell you that I have spiritually battled so many times. And this is as clear as day, like, I don't even know how to express what it is when God reaches out to you. But it is so surreal. A story that I never... She might, I, I believe she's a jake. I believe she's a jake. You know, true spirit, you know. As the scriptures say, in the, you know, it's Romans 8 and 20. You know, Romans 8 and thereabouts, it says, you know, spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God uh, which are the Israelites okay not Christian I thought would hit the way that it did and the fact that I it's not Christian in the context which they understand as Christian to yesterday all right for the true Christians are really the Israelites I never ever even put that together the fact that I never sat there and thought man Noah didn't see the storm that was coming but he prepared anyways how could I not think to apply it to myself and say, I don't see the storm, but I still need to equip myself spiritually. I still need to build up my soul and strengthen my spirit. That's why the Lord said, we we'll go to your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right, knowing what's coming. Study it, show yourself approved. And we'll, we might not be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. Okay, and don't pay your wish, I go, if you're the illness, truth go out in the highways and the byways and teach it. Don't just keep it to yourself. All right. But man, did God make sure I knew that message tonight. And I know that there's someone out there who maybe missed that message a couple of times or maybe even knew the message but just needed to hear it again. This is your sign. You don't know the storm that's coming, so strengthen your spirit for it. Okay, this... You don't know the storm that's coming, so strengthen your spirit for it. You know, and really and truly, <laughs> this is the storm that's coming. All right, this is the storm that's coming. The storm that coming in is called Jacob's trouble. All right, Jeremiah 30 verse 7 says, "Alas, for that day is great, so that there is none like it. It is even the times of time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. How are we going to be saved out of it? The elect, the elect of the nation of Israel, are going to be saved. The tower of the flock. All right, God, this destruction is unlike anything the world has ever seen. Matthew 24 verse 21." It says what? For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, nor ever shall be, nor ever shall be. And except those days be shortened, should be shortened, and this is what is happening right now. Scientists are finding that the days are getting shorter and shorter, because your wish is, is, you know, is short than the days. All right? There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, all right? so that the elect will be saved. All right, this is what's going on. Another one, Luke 21 and verse 25. All right, it says, um, And there shall be, sun, be signs in the sun and in the moon, All right, the same signs, and the stars which we see now, and upon the earth, distress of nations, nations and turmoil is happening now, with perplexity. Let's go into that word, perplexity. All right, perplexity, aporia. Strong's G, 640, Aparia, Aparia. Alright, a state of one who's in perplexity. They're going to, why in perplexity? They're going to understand what's going on. But they didn't listen to the prophets. Alright, perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's heart failing them for fear. People getting, passing out, you know, dying and passing, like giving up the ghost, the spirit, for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. All right, so they're going to be shaken. One more precept. All right, um, let's go to the Apocrypha, 2nd Esther 16, verse 17. 
says what who is me who is me who will deliver me in those days was for the prophet Ezra so said when he saw what was coming on you the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear all right they're going to stand in fear because it's going to get out of hand but they they orchestrating it they you know it's their agenda but it's going to get out of hand because it's the lord's will they do not they do what the lord wants them to do all right the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils shall come behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendments but for all those things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges so it's a horrible a horrific time that's coming and who's going to be secure in that time only the men of the lord all right and the women who humble themselves in that day to the men of the lord this is isaiah 33 also, you have to know the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into the save as Proverbs 18 and 10. Right? But this is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And the wis and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of, your, of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Fear in the Lord, you know, is believing in him and having faith in him too. You know? But, you know, who, who had faith in the Lord? The men of the Lord. They had faith in him. Right? And so um, let's get here. I think it's Hebrews 11, verse 1. It says, Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right? Same thing she was speaking about. Though even though you will see it, you know, you know it has come in. All right, for by the elders, for by it the elders obtain a great rep a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not were made by things which do which do appear. So that things which are seen will not be made slack like, uh, of things which do appear, right? So the spiritual things, things that don't see greater than the physical things, right? Jumping down to verse um, 6, it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, the Heavenly Father. For he that come into the Heavenly Father must believe that he is, and he must believe that his word is too, his word is true, right? And that he is the reward of them that diligently seek him. If you diligently seek him, he'll reward him because you have first of all foremost you have to know your hebrew is like secondly you have to know how, how to please the lord you know you have, to, you have to know the name of the lord and you know that like be saved by grace through faith and try to keep the laws and statutes and commandments as best as you could all right because if you don't know that your hebrew is like you know you're going to be aware that you're sinning before the heavenly father all right first first john 3 and 4 says sin is transgression of the law sin is transgression of the law all right all right you know you know Anastasia, all right, verse 7 says, By faith, Noah, being warned of the Heavenly Father of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, all right, by the, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith, all right, by faith, Noah did this, all right, and the men of the Lord gonna have faith, and the men of the Lord gonna be gonna be covering for the tempest you're gonna be safe in that time you're gonna be eating and drinking when others are starving you're gonna have shelter you're gonna have safety and protection all right from the holy angels as i see 32 and 2 and a man shall be a hiding place from the wind and are covered from the tempest by a man because why lord said the sheep of his flock are men to you men i call and my voices to the sons of men go and check those things out all right so we're gonna be hiding place from the wind lord willing and are covered from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place, as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Alright, so the storm is coming. And who's gonna be ready? The elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai starting with the elect men, the prophets, and the friends and friends of the prophets. Alright. So with that, you know the woman would of course gonna be underneath. Alright, you're gonna be saved through the men. You know, according to Isaiah 4 and 1. So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying and give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Till next time, Shalom.